Hi there, I'm Lou and I'm a poly hobbyist. Chances are you are too. Today I'm going to be talking about installing the Visual Studio Code ROS extension on Linux. First, some prerequisites. You probably should have Visual Studio Code installed first. Second, you want to make sure that you're using the appropriate version of ROS for your distribution and have it installed as well. For Ubuntu 18.04, ROS 1 Melodic is supported. For 2004, you can use ROS1 Noetic or ROS2 Foxy Galactic or Rolling. Uh, and if you're using the next generation of Ubuntu and ROS2, uh, you'll want to target Humble Hawksbill. Today, the Visual Studio Code ROS extension does require that ROS is installed in the op directory. This is how it actually sets up the environment. So I'm going to switch over to my Ubuntu 2004 uh, system, where I'm going to actually install Visual Studio Code ROS extension into Visual Studio Code. So go ahead and launch it. I have it here pinned to my taskbar, and I will go to the Extensions tab. First, I'm going to turn on the screen cap mode so that you can see what I'm typing. I'm going to close out this Docker extension. We'll probably install it in the future, but for now, I'm not going to. Select the Extensions tab, type ROS, and you're looking for the one with, uh, produced by Microsoft with the blue check. So select that and click Install. This will install both the ROS extension, the Python extension, and C++ as they are dependencies for building and debugging ROS. Once this is installed, you'll notice down at the bottom that the ROS extension has launched and it is detected noetic here. If you have multiple in distributions of ROS installed, you can actually select the distribution you want to use by default, either on a per workspace basis, globally in settings, or by launching it from the environment you want. So I'm going to demonstrate each one of those. So the first one is, is that in the settings, go to File, Preferences, Settings, you can look for the ROS extension and select the distribution here. In this case, I have Noetic, but I can select Foxy or other things. The second way of doing this is from within your workspace, source the distribution you're interested in. For example, Noetic. And we'll see that ROS has been initialized here. And then we'll go ahead and launch the Visual Studio Code on a existing workspace. So I have a workspace directory AI bot workspace and I will do code period okay, and that will launch a workspace. Now the third way of doing this is to actually go into the VS Code settings and you'll see that in here you can actually set a distribution. And this is how, how you can select it by default in various workspaces. Uh, in the, another video, I will demonstrate how to use ROS1, ROS2, and we'll also talk about containers and uh, remote debugging over SSH. Thank you very much.